spouses, nieces, nephews, cousins, and I've taught and coached two members of the board. I've written recommendations for you and yours. I've volunteered thousands of hours in coaching both in and out of school. I'm sorry. And, I, and I've, I've followed the lives of all of you in both good times and bad times. I hope that in doing that, that I've earned your trust, and that's what I'm calling upon now and moving forward. My family's been a part of this district as administrators, teachers, or students since the 1940s. Thirteen employees of the district are former students of mine. They're family, too. I've worried that they're going to struggle if they stay here. Hopefully, the board is aware of the cost of living in Clatsop County. If so, you know several of our people cannot afford to live here unless they have roommates or forego certain necessities. Many still live at home with parents because even as highly educated professionals, they do not make enough to live on their own. Teachers have not received a COLA since 2010-2011 in Warrington Hammond School District. This attacks not only our ability to pay basic bills, it also has had a noticeable effect on our morale. A small increase will not raise us anywhere close to the salaries of our peers in the county or in over 90% of the school districts in Oregon, according to the figures listed in the OSBA website. It will, however, help offset some costs and tell us that our efforts are appreciated. I've never asked anything in return for what I've done for people, but I am now, although it's not so much for myself. Current board practices have caused members to stop communicating with teachers about current working conditions. I'm asking you to reconsider that practice. We can have discussions that don't violate rules regarding labor practices. Please, ask teachers how they're doing. Encourage them to share their successes and their tribulations. Take the time to listen and to praise them for their selfless devotion to their jobs and our children. Be the kind of leaders that ask what they can do to help and make it clear that we can approach you when we have concerns. It's the way families should be treated. And for doing that, you'll have my gratitude. Thank you.